Hello and welcome to Elite Pilates Teacher Training in the UK, here in England, actually down in Devon. My name is Paul, I'm on the Reformer today. And the movement we're going to do today is a Gironda Hack Slide, sometimes called a Hack Squat. I've got the foot bar up on the high, I'll go on about that later. My head rest is up, I don't want to think that too much, be up or down. The heels are together with high heels, the balls of the toes on. I prefer as wide, open those knees as wide as you can. Relax the head down, relax the arms down for a minute. And squeeze, actually lock the legs out, fully lock them out. Just don't jar them out. Make sure the heels stay high, really work your calf. And slowly with control, take it out as you bring it down the elbow. Knees go wide, and they're basically tracking over, same angle as the foot basically. Squeeze out, lock out, and bring in. So, what does this, what does this exercise, as you probably expect, it exercises almost all the lower half, in particular the quad muscles. What's particular quad muscle? The VMO. This isn't an anatomy lesson, but the vastus medialis obliquus, part of the quadriceps group, very much a functional muscle, responsible for the correct tracking of the kneecap as it moves, obviously. So. With any muscle, well, well, as a general rule, we want to exercise a muscle in its full range of motion. I'm putting sports specific aside, it might be slightly different, but as a general rule, most muscles we want to work through the full range of motion. For this, for me, on the high bar, gives me my full range of motion. Now, obviously, I'm working, I've got no pathology in relation to knees, and it goes for most of the exercise. I'm working, for instance, a general, general rule that I've got no specific pathologies or issues. Technically, even if you have, depending on what that issue is, this can actually be a very good exercise for rehabbing, for, for rehab for good Pilates. So for me, for a full range of motion, my, uh, the foot bar is on the highest one, so I can get a full range. I can sink down as low as I can. If you can't, you can do one or two things. This reformer moves, so I can adjust that out. So you're reducing the range of motion. And, or, you can just lower the foot bar down. Um, again, depends on your anatomy, depends on your flexibility. For me, that wouldn't be challenging enough. However, so let me just give you an example. I'm not down as far as I can go, I'm not sinking down, I'm not going to get the full range of all the muscles and all the, muscles and all the tissues. One of the advantages, however, is the weight is more because most of the weight or the resistance wants to be over the balls of the toes. And the lower that bar is down, then the more technically the resistance would be. Probably that one actually would be a good one. If I could sink further down, it's not an ideal world. So ideally you want the resistance to be over the heels, over the balls of the toes. And this one, or that one is the closest to that, downside of that, I'm not getting a full range of motion. However, the beauty of this is, this movement, the VMO, the speed also we use, only rare it works throughout the full range of motion, it really comes into its own on the last few degrees of extension. So again, it depends on why you're giving this. If you're giving it from a rehab point of view, lower down to start with would be a very good option. Why? You're reducing the range of motion. You're actually in a stronger range of motion. I can take more resistance coming from this, from here, to there. It's just the last few degrees, degrees of uh, extension. And that, massive, that muscle massively fires up there. That's where it really comes into its own. So there's pros and cons to it. Again, in an ideal world, as much range of motion as you can as a general rule for most people. If you work clinical pilates, it depends on exactly why you're given the movement. So let's say you want to strengthen the knee, maybe you're going for knee stretch, perhaps got a few clients like that. Then let's reduce the range of motion. You can get away with using more resistance today because you have the end range of motion. Uh, and the weight is more over the balls of the toes and you're focusing that particular muscle in particular. As a general rule, get all of the thighs, all of the quads, so we get to the adductors and the hamstrings a little bit more, and again, that vastus medialis obliquus. It's an excellent exercise, do you want the hack slide? My name is Paul, I'm Elite Pilates teacher trainer. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook, Elite Pilates teacher trainer, Elite Pilates services. And thanks for watching.